And then question 49, where is the all-powerful action of God for our salvation especially seen? This all-powerful action of God for our salvation is specially seen in the resurrection of Christ on the third day. That is the center of the action of our salvation. Of course, that action in includes the teaching, suffering, and death of Christ, but especially the resurrection. As St. Paul said, if Christ did not rise on the third day, our faith would be lacking its major rock foundation. But Christ rose as he had said that he would rise. He said, I lay down my life and I take it up again. And that made many to believe. The apostles, when they were going to choose Matthias to take the place of Judas, who hanged himself, the apostles said, we must choose one who has been with us from the days of John the Baptist up to the death and resurrection so that he will be with us a witness of the resurrection. That's the big thing that they must witness. And even the Roman, uh, one of the Roman governors, when St. Paul was accused before him, he didn't get the whole thing clear at all. He asked Paul to explain. And he said, there is some one Jesus dead whom Paul says to be alive. Mm -hmm. That's how this unbelieving Roman governor saw the whole thing. He put the whole Christian message together, that there is one Jesus dead whom Paul asserts to be alive. In short, the resurrection is the center of our, is the foundation of our faith. It's the major show of proof, if we needed any, of God's powerful action. And that the message of Christ was authentic. Because if Christ's message were not authentic, he would not rise up on the third day. And he actually died on the cross. And he was actually buried. So it's a divine seal mm -hmm. on his whole message and person. His glory, as Christ says, when the Son of God shall be exalted. Mm -hmm.